We're all trying to watch how much we're spending these days, especially on the things we all buy, like groceries. All right, food is super expensive right now. We all know that, and we're all paying more to shop. Tonight, one supermarket analyst reveals the best place to shop to try to save some money on groceries. We're facing things today that we've never faced before, and it's uh, it can be very, very confusing. Uh, it's, it's difficult for both uh, grocery store operators and the consumer. David Livingston is a supermarket analyst who's been researching grocery store trends for more than four decades. You have to become a smarter consumer. Uh, there's a lot of things people can do on their end to uh, cut the grocery prices without uh, qu cutting quality. After comparing costs, Livingston says Aldi is the best option for families who want to stretch their dollar at the grocery store. The meat selection is really good, the cold cuts. Um, the unique finds are really nice as well. Unlike your traditional grocery stores, you have to use a quarter to get a shopping cart at Aldi. They don't bag your groceries. You have to bring your own. Some say the checkout lines can be a little bit longer at times, and you'll find many lesser known brands alongside the ones we're all used to seeing at other grocery stores. Experts say those are some of the cost cutting measures they use to keep prices low. No other competitor that I can find that has come close to matching Aldi on price. Livingston says about 98% of what Aldi sells would be considered a bargain compared to what you would find on sale at other more traditional supermarkets. Oh my gosh, way cheaper. The four best bargains to look for at Aldi, according to experts, frozen food, canned goods, baking items like cake mixes, sugar, flour, and meat. While their produce is uh, lower priced, uh, my personal opinion is the produce quality is not as high as what you might find at other supermarkets. There will, I believe there, I, there's kind of a trade-off in the quality and the produce. We wanted to see the differences for ourselves. We went to the Aldi, Meyer, and Kroger in Livonia to compare prices for you on regular price store brands. A loaf of white bread was least expensive at Aldi. So was a gallon of milk and a pound of chicken. But Meyer had Aldi and Kroger beat on the price of ground beef and eggs. When it came to baking items, a box of cake mix at Aldi was just 98 cents. It was 50 cents more at Meyer and a dollar more at Kroger. But the price for store brand sugar and flour was cheapest at Meyer. Uh, it's very simple. It's, uh, it's not like this is something you uh, have to try to figure out. Uh, it's just as easy as just going in and shopping. Now, back in April, you might remember with rising gas prices, Aldi made a promise to customers that despite inflation, Aldi would be the low price leader in pretty much all the communities where there are stores. Aldi issued the same low price promise in May of 2020, which was just a few months into COVID-19, despite those historic food price jumps and supply chain issues as well. The, and, you know, it's easy to like start at one store, go to the other. Uh, Looking to get, for different things. Get for the, uh, like your meat here or something right? and the regular stuff there. But now you think... I don't want to waste the gas. To that go, is true. To you got to factor that in. That's all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, Bernie's got the night off. This is correct. Shocker. So yeah. you're, <laughs> you just, wow. So you're handling sports, sports for us. Yes. <laughs> Tough travel for the Tigers after splitting a double header in Oakland yesterday. The boys flying back home today for a weekend set with the Twins. They'll do that without Bo Brisky, who is now on the 15-day injured list. Mike Pineda gets the start tomorrow. Tomorrow 